Hello, I'm Mega Felix, and this is stage 8 of X Challenge Volume 2 on Hard. And here we've got a nasty one, mostly because we've got the first fight, which is. which can instantly go to shit real fast and will force you to reset countless times until you actually get it right. The main reason is because of this. When Heatnix creates the lava, you want him to create it at the bottom level. Because if he creates it at the top level, you'll be stuck down there with him and Pegasus and you can't do anything. Now, what you have to do is to get down there as soon as the lava goes away. And you have to avoid going you have to avoid getting hit by pegasus when you go down there because if you do it might count as be as not being down a uh, ground level and you will create the lava up top which is basically a forced reset so i bring the dark hold because it uh, it allows me to uh, freeze the fight and kind of skip um Heat Nix going into final attack mode where he will do a very difficult to dodge Godbird attack. So when he's about at half health. Now I'm gonna freeze him and spam mid charge shots to try and take him out. Or at least like weaken him as much as I can. And you know get rid of him fast. He will usually create the lava after spitting a lot of fireballs, so use that as your way of preparing for it. You have to be really fast to go down there and you have to be careful with Pegasus. That's why I keep jumping from rock to rock quickly to kind of, um, you know, keep Pegasus on the move and, you know, try to anticipate where I'm gonna have to land. Like I said, this fight, of course, it can go horribly wrong when you get to Pegasus doing his, fi his, his final attacks. Like when he dives, you don't know where he's gonna come from, you have to kind of dash to the sides, and because of the layout of the room, it's gonna be difficult to not bump your head into a platform, for example, and depending on where it comes from, you might just dash right into him, so you kind of have to get a bit lucky here and um, that was not my best performance but at least I saved enough energy from the first part of the fight to be able to survive this so I got through that's the most important part <laughs> now this is annoying because this first fight is kind of hard to get through now we have the easy one um, it's easy because Necrobat barely does anything and you can bring um, mag the Magma Blade to um, take care of Wolfang. So because the bosses in hard mode take less damage, you have to actually buster Wolfang for the first half of his health bar. Oh, but first, the formalities. Take the Madma Blade and Buster Wolfang for the first half of his health bar. Let's go. So learn to like move around at the correct moments and you know dodge him, spam mid-level charge shots again to quickly take his health down. And when he gets at half health start char charging the magma blade yeah prepare for it because you might get hit while charging it like while releasing it which might cancel it so prepare for it wait until you're in a good spot to release your charged magma blade make sure you don't get hit while you try to release it because you know it can be tricky it takes a long time to to start up 
and after you fired your first one charge the set charge another shot again and you know don't give wolfang any time to do anything also make sure that you jump where like that you stay on a level uh, roughly on the same level as wolfang because the fire comes out at your height So you see that Wolfang couldn't really spam his most annoying attacks. Now it's just a matter of surviving the boredom of finishing off Necrobat. One thing you can do to speed things up is go at the top here when he does this kind of attack and just spam mid-level charge shots which shortens the battle a little bit. So while I finish this off, let me talk about why this stage is one of the worst ones, at least in volume 2, because the final the final stage, the final fight of this one is the worst, which means that you can do all this stuff, get lucky on the first fight, get lucky on the second one, take a lot of time to take out Necrobat, and then you get to this place where you can die instantaneously by getting pushed into spikes, you have to deal with water physics from X5, which are the worst thing ever, and you can have really bad RNG with um, Metal Shark player. Because if Metal Shark player decides to throw a lot of anchors, you're kind of screwed. So the idea is to learn Metal Shark, its pattern, try to remain uh, dead for the first try because you don't have enough health but the idea is try to you know remain at ground level to see what the shark is gonna do if he swims on the ground like that that's your cue to go deal some damage to um, whale when he does this like hammer drop attack like this you have to avoid being in the air which is easier said than done because whale is, is doing his bullshit so you kind of wait for opportunities to go close to whale and use the charge crescent shots on against him and try to like, if you see that shark is gonna swim on the ground like that you just hover pick your times to hover close to whale uh, you know while like this while avoiding shark when uh, Whale is almost dead, stay close to him. You have to deal as much damage as you can before he can come in for pushing you into spikes. Here I, I like to go to the top of the screen on the top left corner to take him out, like to hit him and then go down so it takes time for him to realign himself with X. So now that he's dead, um, Shark by himself is pretty easy as long as you're kind of used to the water physics and he doesn't decide to summon the worst mavericks you want him to summon chameleon basically this is annoying because with the water physics it's hard to dodge uh, centipedes shurikens i did a pretty good job here you just have to jump in a certain rhythm to not get hit Hornet, either you go in the, one of the corners and you shoot the uh, charge shots to get rid of his uh, hornets, or you do what I did, which was not very bright. But this is what you want. You want chameleon. You go on the wall and you just spam the usual. And uh, yeah, this is a gift he gave me. And this is finally over. Thank God. This fight, this fight can go wrong really easily and um, it's just really discouraging because um, you have a lot to go through to get there, especially the first fight. So yeah, with this one gone, 
there's only stage 9 left and um, it's not gonna get any easier let me tell you I think I made the real mistake of picking up uh, volume 2 for this challenge we will have some fun guys but uh, let's talk about it next time thank you for watching and I hope this will help you go through hard mode if you ever try to do it see ya